House Republicans are now calling for action against Democratic Congresswoman Ilhan Omar and Omar's fellow so-called squad members. To censor them for the kind of stoking of this anti-Semitism that we're seeing on the rise. Republican Congresswoman Claudia Tenney is one of three Republicans moving to censure or officially condemn Congresswoman Omar, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Rashida Tlaib, and Ayanna Pressley. Michael Waltz, a veteran, also sponsored the resolution. I've seen girls schools get machine gunned with the girls in them and women with acid thrown on their faces. Those are atrocities. Uh, and to say that the United States or Israel has done anything even approaching that is offensive. Calls to condemn Omar began last week when she asked Secretary of State Anthony Blinken about international investigations of war crimes that named the U.S., Israel, Hamas, and the Taliban. Where do we think the victims of these supposed uh, crimes can go for justice? Omar then tweeted that the U.S. and Israel, along with Hamas and the Taliban, all committed atrocities. Lumping them together drew strong rebukes from both parties. Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez defended Omar. Her comments were absolutely mischaracterized. She was very clearly uh, speaking about the ICC investigations. Some Republicans compare Omar to Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene. Greene's posts elevating violence towards some Democratic leaders got her removed from her committees. It's a comparison Democrats dismiss. They're simply they're straining and struggling to find an equivalency that just doesn't exist. So this resolution itself, important to remember, may very well likely not even come up for a vote. And even if it did, it's just a public condemnation. It doesn't have any teeth to it. But we are hearing that the top Republican in the House, Kevin McCarthy, may introduce another resolution uh, that, if passed, would actually strip uh, Congresswoman Ilhan Omar of her committee assignments. Of course, he would need some Democrat support on that. So uh, Democrats control the House. They have the majority. That may not be likely, but it would be a moment where Kevin McCarthy could at least get Democrats on the record uh, as having voted the way that they did on uh, that resolution. Rob, Marnie. Joe, you mentioned those comparisons with Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. I understand she just held a press conference just a short time ago apologizing for some comments that she recently made. Um, elaborate on that, please. Yeah, it was, it was sort of an impromptu thing. We found out late in the day, Marjorie Taylor Greene just went outside uh, the Capitol here behind us and she um, apologized for comparisons that she made uh, to the Holocaust and to mask mandates and, and comparing Democrats to uh, the Nazi party. She actually said that she went to the Holocaust Museum uh, here in Washington, that she had learned some lessons and that she wanted to come out and just admit that she was wrong uh, for making those comparisons. And again, that comes uh, today on Today, when we're hearing a lot uh, from Republicans about uh, anti-Semitism uh, and all the rest and trying to uh, also put that toward uh, Ilhan Omar as well. Interesting, the timing on that and uh, again, something we didn't really expect to hear this morning, but an impromptu thing from uh, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene just this afternoon. All right, Joe Khalil in D.C. tonight. Joe, thank you.